So I've got a little bit of a different video plan for you guys today. Now my girlfriend Tessa is out of town for the next three weeks in Europe and she left behind her car obviously and her car happens to be this tiny little Honda Fit. Now in the past Tessa and I, two people, spent the night in this car and it was, uh, it was interesting to say the least but I had the idea while she's out of town to take her car out car camping and since it's such an urban little car I thought it would be fun to do an urban stealth camping which I haven't done in a really long time but the more I thought about it I was a little bit nervous to go urban stealth camping up here in Portland because I wasn't afraid that I would be told to leave I was just actually afraid that I might wake up in the middle of the night to somebody trying to break in to the car because my, my truck got broken into once up here already and it's a sad reality but it is what it is so I got to thinking like what would be a good option for a place that would be kind of relatively safe to go spend the night and I didn't want to do another parking lot like Walmart because at this point that's just kind of boring I had the idea that I might try to go spend the night at the airport yep the airport I thought it would be a fun idea I've never done any kind of like real stealth camping like this before so I do have a couple tricks up my sleeve to hide the fact that I'm spending the night in their parking lot so without further ado, let's just start heading over to the airport and uh, we'll go from there and see what happens. So you guys saw me vacuuming the car and I actually was planning on giving the entire car a wash because it's just so, so filthy right now. But if you look at it, all of the dirt actually does a really good job at blocking the visibility of the inside of the car. So sadly, it's I'm driving a dirty car around, but I think it's gonna help keep us a little bit more low key. Now I don't actually have any window covers for this specific car. So I'm just gonna be using these black trash bags that I picked up at Walmart. These are a great way to uh, cover your windows if you're in a pinch. It doesn't look great, it doesn't look fancy. It doesn't look good obviously, but it works and it at least provides you with a sense of privacy. I did get some duct tape. I was hoping I could 
maybe wedge it in somewhere without using duct tape, but I guess we'll just duct tape it. Oh, that, this might work actually right here. I'm just wedging it. There's like a weather strip on the, uh, on the door, on the edge of the door. I'm just wedging the bag in between that weather ceiling and it's holding it pretty well actually. I gotta do this quick, I don't wanna draw too much attention over here. So there's the window without the trash bag. And this is the window with it. Look at that. It looks really good. You can't even tell. Okay, so a patrol car did just drive by with its lights on, which just confirms that there are actual patrol cars that come around here. I'm not surprised, but at the same time, it's just a reminder to uh, to be a little bit a little bit low-key so I'm gonna get back into the car and finish up with the window covers Okay guys, it is freaking warm in here. It's like over 80 degrees still. So before I go ahead and seal up these front two windows, cause these are my only windows where I'm getting airflow, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cook up some dinner real quick. Now I know I just had instant noodles in my last video, but this is all I can think of that I'd be able to cook in here. And plus, last time I made sushi as well, and the noodles were just supplemental. So today I have this Udon premium bowl of noodles. I've never had it, but uh, I've got pretty high hopes, honestly, it looks good. Once that leftover hot water cools down a bit, I'm gonna have to just pour it right back into the water bottle because I don't wanna empty it out the door, draw attention to myself. No beer today because if by any chance I have to leave for whatever reason if I get asked to leave I don't want to have been drinking beer or any alcohol so tonight just stick into coconut water
yeah bowl of hot soup is probably not gonna help the heat situation in here but like i said it's all it's all i got I don't know how bright this light is from out there. I really want to get out and check, but I also don't want to like get in and out of the car too many times. I kind of want to just stay in here for the rest of the night without getting out. All right, bon appetit. It wasn't a security guard, it was just another random car, but I wanna limit the amount of people that potentially see the light coming from inside the car, you know? The noodles are pretty good. All right, I'm gonna turn off the, the light and just finish my dinner. I decided to just leave these two windows open to get some fresh air. Otherwise, if I seal them up, I might I might just suffocate back here. Well, I was trying to wait until it cooled off to go to bed. But honestly, at this point, I don't think it's going to get any cooler. It's still so warm out. It's warm and it's incredibly uncomfortable back here. I mean, it shouldn't be any surprise. This is a tiny Honda Fit, but man, it's, it's really uncomfortable. Combined with the warm weather, at one point I literally almost decided to just go home. It's that bad. On the plus side, it's been, it's been pretty mellow and quiet. There hasn't really been any security or anything that's come by, so. It's comfortable in that, in that sense. I truly don't, I don't know how Tessa and I both slept back here because even with one person, it's super, super uncomfortable. Okay, I'm going to bed.
All right, guys, I've made it back home safe and sound. Uh, that was that was quite the interesting experience. I probably will never spend the night in the Honda Fit again because it was just super, super uncomfortable. My legs had to like, I had to kind of, I couldn't really go full fetal position. So my legs had to kind of like curl around and there was this, there was this indent in the seats that was just killing my back. Yeah, it was, uh, it was not that enjoyable. But anyways, overall, it was a success. Nobody came knocking. I got away with it. It was actually pretty quiet in the night. There was no planes taking off or anything like that. Once again, I know this was a much different type of video than you're used to seeing on this channel, but please do let me know in the comments if this is something you're interested in potentially seeing more of here and there um, so we could switch things up. Either way, I'd love some feedback in the comments and uh, the normal adventure content will continue later this week. Thank you guys like always for watching. You guys go out there and go on some adventures of your own. Live life. Beat the status quo. Y'all know the drill. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.